Neither a lofty degree of intelligence nor imagination nor both together go to the making of genius. Love, 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 that is the soul of genius. I pay no attention whatever to anybody's praise or blame. I simply follow my own feelings. When I am, completely myself, entirely alone, or during the night when I cannot sleep, it is on such occasions that my ideas flow best and most abundantly. Whence and how these ideas come I know not nor can I force them. To talk well and eloquently is a very great art, but that an equally great one is to know the right moment to stop. What's even worse than a flute? Two flutes. A man of ordinary talent will always be ordinary, whether he travels or not, but a man of superior talent will go to pieces if he remains forever in the same place. All I insist on, and nothing else, is that you should show the whole world that you are not afraid. Be silent, if you choose, but when it is necessary, speak, and speak in such a way that people will remember it. Forgive me, Majesty. I am a vulgar man. But I assure you, my music is not. Our riches, being in our brains, die with us. Unless of course someone chops off our head, in which case, we won't need them anyway. When I feel well and in a good humor, or when I am taking a drive or walking after a good meal, or in the night when I cannot sleep, thoughts crowd into my mind as easily as you could wish. I am not thoughtless but am prepared for anything and as a result can wait patiently for whatever the future holds in store, and I'll be able to endure it. They probably think because I am so small and young, nothing of greatness and class can come out of me, but they shall soon find out. If one has the talent it pushes for utterance and torments one, it will out, and then one is out with it without questioning. It is, of course, a money marriage, nothing more. I wouldn't want to enter into this kind of marriage. I wish to make my wife happy and not make my happiness through her. I beg you most humbly to go on loving me just a little and to make do with these poor congratulations until I get some new drawers made for my small and narrow brain box in which I can keep the brains that I still intend to acquire.